Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to tell you about the right outer join. Um, it's just a little bit of a variation on the left outer join. And we're going to start by looking at the customer table. So the customer table has um, six customers, and they have a salesman employee ID to them. And then we have the employee table. And so what I want to do is I actually want to join the employee and customer tables together. So I'm going to do that by saying select star from employee. And I'm going to alias it as E. Ah, no alias this time. And we will do a um, an inner join first to the customer table. And we will do that on the employee dot employee number equals to the customer dot employee number sales employee number and so when we do that if we do an inner join we go down to just four customers so if we go back to the customer table you can see that two of our customers don't have an employee assigned to them yet so what we want to do in this case is we want to get all the customers even if they don't exist in the employee table um, even if they, their salesman employee number doesn't exist in the employee table. So we want everything in this right table even if it doesn't exist in the left table. So what we're going to do is we're going to say right outer join. So now we're going to get all six of the customers even if they don't exist in the employee table. Now what's the difference between the right and the left outer joins? and uh, nothing really, um, just the order we have these tables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this customer table and I'm going to put it up front here. I'm going to take the employee table and I'm going to stick it to the right side. And now I want everything in the customer table, same thing as I did before, everything in the customer table, even if it doesn't exist in the employee table. But since the customer table is on the left side of this join, I need to turn this to a left join. And now when I do this, I get the same results, but I get um, the customer columns up front and the employee columns on the right side. And so left and a right join are no different except it just depends on where you have your tables. And I almost exclusively, exclusively use left outer joins and I always arrange the, the table that I want everything out of on the left side as we have it here. So that's the right outer join, um, which is pretty much the same as the left outer join, uh, that they both exist in the SQL language.